Talksport Swindon is Charlotte, Lily and Jasmine. Girls, you've just officiated the North Wales Youth Final today. How did that go? It went really well. I really enjoyed it. Um, it, it was very equal for the majority of the game. Uh, there was two goals which were, I think, from set pieces, like just free kicks. No, it's not a set piece. From free kick. Um, and it, it was quite equal and these guys helped me out as much as possible, which was, which was amazing. It's really good to have proper linos there know what they're doing and helping you out, which is fab. Yeah. And I'm, I'm told this is the first time an, an all-female uh, group of officials have done a, a North Wales Youth League Cup final, so a little bit of history. Yeah, a little bit. Yes. So good, good to, to set a bit of history like that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and, and yourself? Mm hmm yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So, so why did you girls get into refereeing? Because, I mean, I played football and I've got to admit the last job I'd ever want to do would, would be to be a referee or a linesman. So um, from left to right, you know, what? why did you get into it and, and what do you enjoy about it? Um, so I've been playing football for seven, eight years. So um, it was just something that could um, occupy my Sundays and just get me to know more of the rules and everything so that when I argue with a ref I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have a twin brother and he's always been into football and my dad's coached the football and so I just kind of grew up with it. So I did the ref course because my brother did the ref course so we just kind of did it together so we just grew up with it so it's just everyday life really. So. Well I used to play football for a team and then I had to stop due to other reasons and then so I want to stay active and involved in football so I decided to become a referee. So what sort of aspirations have you, you got in terms of refereeing and, and being assistant? So would you like to be in the Premier League one day or something like that? Because girls are girls and, and women are coming through you know both on the pitch and, and in terms of officials as well into the professional game. So would that be a you know the ultimate dream? Be quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> it would be cool. I mean I've got plans like close plans like university and stuff like that but I've been advised to just keep it going and I don't want to promote I don't want to go for a promotion yet because I'm not 100% comfortable with ref in the adult game because I've watched some of the adult games and it's just not something that I'm interested in right now I like doing it with the little ones and coaching them and teaching them that's why I like doing it because I'd rather have a game for an hour that I really enjoy and it goes really well than a game for an hour and a half with everybody shouting at me so and anyone that you know wants to become an official, what, what sort of advice would you give them? Start easy. So start with the little ones and then if you feel confident with them, build yourself up because if you go straight in, we were talking earlier, if you go straight in and you do under 14s, under 15s, who have been playing longer than you've been reffing and they're, they're rowdy, the managers are competitive. If you start young and then you build your way up, you'll be able to build your confidence as you go rather than going straight in and then getting knocked down straight away which where, which is why I think quite a few referees stop because they don't start in the right place for them to build the confidence up. Yeah, and there is a shortage of, of referees isn't there mm -hmm. you know, across the county and probably across the country so what can be done to kind of you know improve that? Um, just try and encourage people that you know who do football to because you, you obviously all enjoy it as well. Yeah, nine times out of ten. Yeah. I mean, there's the odd game that I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't do that because it just it just knocks you down a little bit. You've just got to kind of go. You're only going to please fifty percent of the people at the game, and as soon as you get that into your head, then it's then it's easier because if you go out saying I want to please everyone, I don't want to get shouted at, I don't want to do mixed wrong decisions. At the end of the day, you're not going to please everyone. You will make mistakes and. If you have that mindset of you know you're going to do it, it will be more enjoyable for you because you've just accepted that it's not going to be perfect. So I think mindset is massive, a massive thing too. That's great. Well, thanks very much for joining us and, and good luck in the future. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.